folks and welcome back to another episode of my hardcore mode <clears throat> here in snow runner so from the last episode uh, I got this vehicle and I drove it up here uh, right now we are on Big Salmon Peak so I drove the vehicle over from the uh, through the gateway and it came over here and put it in a garage and went ahead and upgraded it. Yep, let's go back up here, customize. So it's only one engine, but I could put the advanced special gearbox on it. Stock suspension, can't do anything with that. Tires, can't do anything. I did put the autonomous scout winch on it. And handler forks. Uh, you've got the wide ones and the smaller ones so I wanted to try the smaller ones so I put them on here but we'll do that later on because right now I need to get my trucks out and we have to open this map up so I'm gonna bring out the 750 but I'm not going to do everything with the 750 like I did <clears throat> uh, in the, on the other map. I want to use this truck. So let's go down here and put my off-road tires on it. And I want to see how this truck does. Make sure my mic is on. And it is. And forgot to click on Twitch here make sure the video is going on um, so I want to use this truck a lot and I want to try other trucks see how they do so what shall we take with us I don't like you I'm thinking about either the Hummer no let's go and pick up because we have not used our Chevy in a long time Chevy Apache um, on my other playthrough that I'm doing one where I have all the vehicles uh, I came on the first map and I used the Apache uh, I didn't like the Apache not a, ooh, we haven't used the Warthog um, I, want to, I do want to take the Warthog out. But like I said, right now, how many Chevys do I have? I should just have the one. The Tuz 166. I just took it out of the garage in, the, in my other playthrough. And I'm trying it out to see how it does. Uh, I haven't started driving it yet but I will let you know how it does. <clears throat> so come on down here to mud tires. And I think I'm going to put everything on it. Eh, I don't know. That roof rack, if you add that one, it really bogs the truck down so let's just put that one back on it so it gives me two tires no it gives me four spare wheels <clears throat> and 11 gallons in gas and 50 repair points so we'll try that Oh, I didn't get the other one out. Yep. Let's go ahead and put you back in two wheel. So where shall we go? I do not know yet. Let me turn my 
Pull him up just a smidgen. So we know the 750 can do the job. But I want to see how these two trucks run. So if we go out, looks like we can go to the right. There's a bridge down there. Or it looks like we can go to the left. Um, let's just do a round robin. We'll go to the left and see if we can't get all the watchtowers. Get up here and see if that's actually road. And I did put mud tires on them. If I do run across icy roads and I'll just take it slow but the uh, mud tires seem to do uh, the best Bigfoot Hunter 7 how you doing today we're just trying to see if I can get up to this watchtower it's like we have some kind of tunnel there Um, let's check it out. So this is hardcore mode. Can't recover to the garage. Can't buy trailers. Uh, can't get fuel from the fuel station, so I have to carry my own fuel with me. Ah, that's what I forgot. Okay. Let's... Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I was thinking I forgot to buy a fuel trailer. I can't buy trailers. Okay, so that has a barrier going across it. Which means you can't cross there. And that one too. Uh, they got the little balsa wood gates, which I should be able to just drive right through. But uh, Oh, there's a road over here. This road takes me right up. That'll work. Let's give the Chevy a go. I've missed driving this. You can't drive it in a Mondra or Lake Cove. And Russia is just too muddy. And Alaska is too much snow. So you really can't drive the Chevy. But this one doesn't, this map doesn't seem too bad. I mean, there's some, I've run into some deep snow, deep mud. Uh, but not too bad. And the Chevy seems to be doing pretty good. Little bit of driver error but all right new objectives uh, hunter needs we'll have to pick that up I went down here just basically takes me over there but that's where I need to go for the next watchtower. Unless I want to go this way. 
warehouse in the mountains. And got a lot of stuff down here. Um, let's just take the Chevy this way. Figure out which way this way was. Right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to go down backwards. And unfortunately, being hardcore mode, I cannot advance time. So I got to play it like the game gives it to me. Day and night. Which I don't mind driving at night. Uh, I have looked at my videos. They're uh, not too dark. So you can see at night. Uh, I've lightened it up a little bit. You know, this isn't bad at all. I mean, it's rocky and everything, but I mean, the, the, so far the mud isn't really thick. So I might be able to get re, uh, get away with the big roof rack. I uh, don't want to head back to, oh, oh yeah, that's my garage. So let's head on down the road here. Roadblocks. Excuse me. Now this looks bad. Stay over on this side. Ooh, it's deep. But passable. So far. Can I winch? Yes, I can winch. I just want to see if I can winch to that uh, telephone pole even though it's laying over. these cables okay they didn't affect me the back end hit them this looks a little bit deeper with the current but not bad at all can do with that and I did it in automatic well, let's see where we're going Uh, we'll head over here first and then head in that direction. Got some dancing ants. See what our diff lock will do. Accept it. I need your help, friend. My cousin went for a drive in the mountains last night and his truck broke down at the peak. Now we're looking, or now we're thinking.
how to get him out of there. Will you help us? Of course I'll help. It's worth money. Wrong turn. I got a, something I just realized you've got to track before it shows you where everything is. Repair Cousin's truck. Alright, so I'm heading that direction. And deliver it to back here to the house. Alright, let's go check out the other side over here. So far on this map, the mud has been thick enough to slow you down. But, but uh, not thick enough to keep the scout vehicles from running. Oh, I got a trailer. Is it mine? I doubt it. There's a mission in front of it. Yep. Not letting me discover. So we get the mission. Uh, we recently bought a hangar for a hangar at the old station, but it has to be disassembled and repaired. If you help get some tools there, we will share some resources from the warehouse with you. Okay, that's good. So even though it says trailer discovered, I didn't discover it until. I accepted the mission, which means that it is not my trailer. I can't keep it. So what have we here? Looks like bricks. Yep, two of them left. And I did realize that you actually have to go into these for it to tell you what it is because like over here there's something but it won't tell you what it is until you actually go in the box so I can tell right now that's wood but from the map view I don't know wood yeah, I got some snow here see how it does so I don't mind this yes the snow is deep it has slowed me down a lot but I can still make progress in a scout So I like this. I'm enjoying the map so far. Actually both maps. I just started on this one. So log station. Or lumber mill. But I don't see any loading areas. Oh, back there. I missed it. Now let's drive on around, see if there might be a trailer behind one of these. Because so far, all I have found on the other map was one maintenance trailer. I think that didn't have a mission to go with it, so that means that trailer's mine. So usually on the other maps you find a lot of scout fuel carriers and stuff like that.
but this region may not have any trailers or they might be all over here don't see anything hiding in the woods and it's not going to let me load anything here I thought if I got closer it would uh, show me the loading zone but it might be a mission where we have to come over here and do some repairs or something bring some cargo over here to get the is it a lumber mill or it doesn't say at all look see if there might be any trailers out here in the woods and I don't see any All I need is a couple of scout fuel carriers and I'll be golden. Yeah, again, this I can deal with. Yeah, I'm moving slow, but I'm still moving. Alright, so we're something over on this side. Let's get the diff lock off. Back in automatic. I did get that because that's the way I came. And I know I can run diff lock through here. Because it's nice and muddy. I just want to see what the truck is capable of. Another quest. So I was expecting a delivery from uh, delivery of some pipes for the water supply system, but the contractor sank the trailer with them in the woods. I need them now. You can either find the trailer and bring me new pi or bring me new pipes. I'll pay you well. Well, I would rather. Well, let's take a look. Where's it at? Pipe problems. And start tracking it so I can see where they're at. I gotta bring them back here. Way over there. I would rather, as I was saying, bring the pipes that belong to him. Because maybe I get to keep the trailer. So in my original playthrough, which I still have it, it's the... Uh, original snow runner that I did uh, I'm still continuing to play it playing all the maps uh, just not putting any of the videos up kind of using it as a test one it's the one I have all of the vehicles in and I also use that uh, gameplay for co-ops because I still like getting on uh, sometimes doing co-ops with people I don't have a lot of time for that Okay, these steps, I'm sinking. These steps uh, from excavation work in the past. No. These steps are left from excavation work in the past. Uh, looks like an ideal place for a survival competition to me. You in? 
Is it going to show me? Reach the waypoint. Yeah. See, they've got it now. Uh, before this update, you could actually click on it to show you the waypoints before you actually started the uh, contest. And I know I could start it and then just uh, end the contest. But I'll wait till I'm ready to do that. Yes, yes, you need gas. I know. Drink it like crazy. Uh, what else do we have? Got wood framing there. Could go up into here where the rolled steel factory. Oh, I did find out one thing. Um, that little symbol there. Uh, looks like it's got the gear in it. That's where you can go and do crafting. You can make things. So I don't know what you can make. I haven't gone that far yet. Uh, do, 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 do I go on? Got 12 gallons of gas. I do have the 750 back there in the garage, so I can bring it out to refuel this. Because as long as this truck is running good on this map, I'm going to keep driving it this way. And if this is running good, I know the Lodestar will run good. Let's drop you down a little bit. Reduce the wheel spin. Man, now I want to get the Hummer out. There's a building out there. So, oh, there's the wrong turn. Um... I don't have the gas to get up there and back. I do have enough gas to get over here and right back where I was just at. And then I think I'm going to get a, a big truck out here uh, with some fuel and repair. Just to park it out this way. Because it looks like I have a lot of things to do out here. So bricks. Because it's a brick building. Yep. Two of them. Hiding any trailers back here? Nope. trailers on the inside nope got a garage I gotta try it can I get in there or will it stop me at the edge I know I can't get all the way in nope stop me at the edge Yeah, now this is fun. I like this. Oop, if I don't wreck it. Okay, so I think uh, up there is where I gotta go. Yep. So, stop the engine. 
head back to the garage and get a vehicle out here with some gas in it. Give me the opportunity to test out something else. So what shall we take? That has a... no, it's too big. Can't put a fuel tanker on most of these. Some of them I can. Can I get a fuel tanker on you? Yes, I can. All right, let's try it. Ooh, I'm almost out of money. I should have went one with one that already had a fuel tanker for, or a uh, maintenance add-on. So let's head to the farm. If we're on Black River. This is a exact duplicate of the Black River one. And I don't mind that. Uh, I like Black River. I like the way the garage was set up. Nice and big. Easy to get into. But you would come out of the garage, go to the left, to head to, to the uh, farm and town. I don't have chain tires on there, do I? Nope. So with the hardcore rules that I'm following... Uh, which way had it come out? To the left. Yeah, to the left. Uh, with the hardcore rules that I'm following... I cannot buy trailers unless a mission specifically calls for a trailer that is not located on the map. I can't use fuel stations <clears throat> or repair facilities other than the garage. So all of my fuel and repairs either need to come from my garages or from add-ons on other trucks. Unless I find a trailer. If it belongs to me, I can use it. Until I've used up everything in it. Like a uh, maintenance trailer. If I find a maintenance trailer, I can use it. But once I use all the repair points out of it, then it's no longer any good to me. I can't sell it and buy another one that's full. Could you go? Something big up there. Kind of looks like a building. So anyway, by doing these rules, it makes the game harder. And I've got to put some planning into it. And it extends the gameplay out. Ah, uh, but if you want to try something freaky. Uh, I told you my original profile. I came on and I... Oh, tipping. Um, I did the other map. And I decided to have a little fun with it. I don't know where my Chevy is. I think it's up here. There it is. 
So what I did, I opened up that map uh, just like I did in this playthrough here. Only, let's go ahead and repair it. Yep, it's just three points, but I don't want to use my repair points unless I have to. Uh, but I did it all from cockpit view. Now you talk about something that was freaky to do. And... Oh. You won't let me fill up my... Let's stop the engine. Don't tell me I can't fill up my fuel cans. Oh, here I can. So I fill it up from, oh, there it is. I have to fill it up from the Azov. I can't fill up my fuel cans from that tank. So I just took some out of the gas tank there. But yeah, I did everything in cockpit view. Oh boy, was that rough. And yes, I did have to recover a few times to the garage because I got so screwed up. Which in that playthrough, I can do that. Did I go the wrong way? I did. I should not have went through there. Yeah, so if you do cockpit only, you've got to be able to recover. Because there were a couple of times I fell off a cliff. Alright, so the rocks are not icy. That's a good thing. See up there, see if there's anything there. Have to watch those trees when I come back. Make sure they don't reach out and grab me. Oh, you're a big boy. Can I take you down the other side? Probably. Hey, the game wants me to go that way, so let's go that way. Oh. Show task. Start tracking. Uh, then again, maybe we'll go the other way. Because it needs repairs. And I'm not going to give up my repair points. If I give up the repair points in this truck, I can't get them back unless I go to the garage. Which I was kind of hoping they would change that, but it doesn't appear they have. So, attach our winch. Nope. Attach it to the back. Ooh. Well, let's see what kind of repairs it needs. Oh man, it needs everything. Okay, I can give it the wheels. I only 
to carry 50 points with me. But I'll give it that. See if I can move it. It's a heavy one. I was going to try to back it up a little bit so that I could pull it down forwards. But it looks like we're going to have to go backwards. All I really have to do is get it down the mountain here. Now it's pulling easier. And if I can get it down here. Uh, then the other, the Azov can actually pull it over to where it needs to go. Okay, we might have to climb up these rocks. Attack it from this direction. Maybe not. Let's get up a little higher. Not that high. Dang it. Okay. Good trees. Not good. Ooh. I'll hook to you. Come on, all the way over. Ouch. Well, I was kind of hoping that would flip me over a little bit, but it doesn't look like it will. So let's try it this way. Are you strong enough to stand me up? Come on, just let me get the engine started. That's the problem with this autonomous winch. It's not very powerful. Alright. So, no recovery. Which means... I gotta bring something up here. I could bring y'all. That would be easy. And who wants easy? Oh. I missed it. So let's deck you out with everything you can carry. And I have. Mud tires on it. Got a winch. 
You knew I was going to do it. I got to. Got to try it out. Sign was broken when I got near it. Before I got there. You know, sometimes the regular Hummer tires that come with it actually do better than these mud tires. Something else I'm going to check out. Did I go the right way? Yeah. Still don't know the map. Well, I haven't been on the map. Except for a little bit, and... I'm not sure of my sense of direction yet. But so far I think this would be a great map to do some co-ops. To just mud around. And hit uh, waypoints. Yeah, you get your buddies out and just have some fun. that wheel spin a little bit. Do I have a diff lock? Yes. Wasn't sure if it was automatic or not. Yeah, I might have to set me up a race course on this map. Hit certain points, see how the trucks do. Time them. Okay, so that wire does not affect the truck. It's not something you get hung up on. I know if the Chevy and the Hummer can make it through here, 750 will have no problem at all. But I'm kind of wondering about some of the other scout vehicles. This might be a scout vehicle dream here, this map. You might even be able to use some of the trailers for scout vehicles to do some of the missions. That would be awesome. We do have a forklift in the game now. So... That'd be kind of a pain in the butt though, doing it in hardcore mode. because I'd have to get the forklift over everywhere I want to load something up. But that's why I call it the hardcore mode. Oh, and I did do some experimenting with uh, trailers. The Every trailer that I tried, flatbeds, uh, the whole works, you can load vehicles on them and you can strap them down. You cannot 
put a vehicle in there with a trailer on it and strap it down. So if I took this Hummer and I put it on the ramped flatbed, uh, it will strap it down, no problem. But if I took this Hummer and put a fuel trailer on it, it will not strap it down to the ramped flatbed. If I drop the fuel trailer on the flatbed, then it will, I can, I would be able to uh, strap the Hummer down, but the trailer is not going to be strapped down. So I did try a couple of different ways. Easy, going up here. There we go. I did try a couple of different ways of, you know, putting the uh, ramps back up, pushing the trailer all the way to the back, detaching it, and then backing up the truck as far as I could get it, the scout vehicle, and then uh, packing the scout vehicle to see if I could hold the scout fuel carrier in place. And that didn't work. It works if the ground is nice and smooth. But the minute you start hitting bumps, that scout fuel carrier uh, just falls off the back. No problem. So let's see if I can hook to... I got my wheels in a little crevice there. Yes, I can. Lock it in. There we go. I can get in that? No. I can use it. Okay, that's kind of weird. We'll have to try that out. After I get it down the hill. Uh, this truck I'm going to leave here. Because I'm going to go up the other way. Uh, the the I'm gonna go back up the mountain here and take that other road going around. So I use the Hummer here. To pull this truck back because now I want to see. It did say this was a reward truck. I don't think it did. I think it said it wanted the truck back. I love the way the Hummer sounds. Start the engine all you want. You've got no gas and the engine's broke. Uh -oh. Slipping and slide. That's okay. You don't want to play nice with me, I will not play nice with you.
it is coming off that mountain. too close to the Azov to be stuck. And the Azov has the big boy winch. Get it on the back. Yeah, it still wants to play games. Watch this. I told you. It wouldn't listen. I'm in rare form today. I have the stomach flu. So not feeling all that great. And 297. Oh shoot, I need 460. So I don't have enough. I still need 163 more. But that did repair the engine and the fuel tank. So I can put gas in it. International Lodestar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm thinking. I forgot what truck I was pulling out of here. So let's refuel the Hummer. And it's still too broke to drive it. So I need more repair points. Which you know what that means. Another truck. Do I want to become famous? No. Do I want to become famous? No. Come on, there's a third one there. Keep getting these things on the Twitch. Wanting to know if I want to become famous and buy views or buy followers. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so that's where I got to take it. And I was going to take that back and redo it. 
put it back in the garage, refill everything. But I think what I'll do instead is I'll take it back. here in a few minutes and I could take well yeah I could take it out but I have not the Kodiak I bought a maintenance because I'm oh, I've got 9,000 Take what does Scout have on it? Yep, I did one for you, but I don't want to. Did I have a maintenance for this one? Nope, the van body. But I'm going to leave you out because I want to try you. One of these trucks, I bought a van body. Warthog. How many repair points do you have? I needed 300. Oh, it's fuel tank. Trunk repair supplies. So fuel hundred. Uh, that's not how I've got it set up. Yeah. Fuel hundred repair points hundred fifty. So that's not enough. But I do want to leave you out because I want to try you. All right. I may just have to buy a van body. So I've reached my hour mark and I believe what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a look at each one of these and see which one I bought the van body for. And then that's the truck I'll take over. Could take the Scout. Because the Scout has I believe with the frame add-ons it has 300 repair points and that's what I needed but I'm going to end the video now and I'm going to check it out just to make sure that's what the other truck needed and then in the next episode we'll either take this out or we'll take something else out with repair points and I do know one that I have a body for but it's like overkill I could take you because I did buy a van body for it, right? yeah large maintenance that's the large one it's got a lot of stuff on it yeah 350 repair points I may take this one just see how this truck does so I'm going to end the video here and we'll do that in the next episode uh, let me know how I'm doing uh, let me know what you think of the playthrough and I will see you in the next episode so until then have a good one